as we mentioned uh, earlier, these are the expansions. We're starting with the slag adjuster and rod. Slag adjuster and rod, general condition. They're not bent, broken, or cracked, securely mounted. The additional factor with the slag adjuster and rod is that you pull on them, making sure there's no more than one inch of plate. What you're doing is you're checking the adjustment on your brakes. From here, let's go back and look at the actual braking shoes. Now, what's the next thing we want to talk about is our braking shoes. General condition. They're not bent, broken, or cracked. Securely metal. When these springs mount, they bounce around, break, they bounce around inside the drum. Additional factors. Not dangerously thin or a minimum quarter inch of thickness. You're talking about this material. This material is made out of asbestos. When it gets hot, it gets brittle like hard plastic. What can happen? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Is you'll get cracks along the rivets or linear cracks or glazing. The problem with that is if pieces come off or the shoe comes loose, it jams between the brake drum and the, the actual brakes, locking the wheel up and you're stuck. Additionally, we want to make sure there's no grease and oil from the seals getting in the braking system. The brake drum, piece of metal, not bent, not broken, not cracked, securely mounted. When you heat metal, it turns blue. When it turns blue, it changes the molecular structure or temper. It becomes brittle. You'll apply these heavy-duty brakes and it may crack or a piece will fall out. That's why it's important to inspect these two items for heat. Moving on, lug nuts. This is an inner and outer lug nut. They come with a machine surface. The wheel starts off with a machine surface and when placed together, they make a very flush mount. Draw your attention to this wheel. It no longer has a machine surface. So if you take a smooth machine surface against a rough surface, when you place them together, you have high and low spots. Water gets in there, it runs out, that's what a rust trail is. Shiny threads are simply the nut rolling back and forth on the threads. And if you place this lug nut in any one of these holes, you will see damage around the hole. Additionally, this wheel has been cracked. These are signs that you may not be able to turn it, but if you see rust trails, shiny threads, or damage around the hole, there's a good chance you have a loose lug nut. 